wisp is red. A S M R. Hello, this is Emma with a nail polish collection to show you. This is a plastic shoe box which makes the perfect storage for makeup and other bits and bobs. As you can see, all of the nail polishes inside are a little bit of a mess. So we're going to go through each one and pop them into groups according to their brand. I shall also show them to you and tell you a little bit about each one. Just move this to one side, make some room. The first one I see is by Barry M and it's a Jelly High Shine in Chili and it's the colour I'm wearing right now. Under this light it looks a little bit brighter than it normally looks, it's more like a rusty brown or a rusty orange and it looks nicer on than it does in the bottom I like it also by Barry M is this one and it's blood orange it's also a jelly high shine, so obviously when it says high shine that gives a glossy finish, which is nice. This is more of a orangey red. Um, I do have an actual red by Barry M as well. Um, this is bright red, 262, and you may be able to tell that there's a difference between these two reds here. This is more of a vintage red carpet shade. I do like Barry M. It's pretty good with regards to pricing and it's easy to use. It has just the right consistency I like, but 
as I've said before, I am trying to move over to more natural products and look at things that are cruelty free as well. So I will be phasing out these brands. Um, most of them are Parian. This one here, Bourgeois Paris, and it's Lala. The shade is number seven, Light Years, and I really, really like this colour. I've worn it quite a lot over the last year. There is a whole range of them, and they're all this shape, so you could fit them all in a circle. And I have another one here. This one is Flambon, Flambon Rose, and this is more of a corally red. I have lots of shades of red. And that's how they fit. There's also a blue, which I was considering, but I didn't think that I would wear it very often, so I didn't buy it, but it looks interesting. There are some nice strong colours in the range. The colours are very vibrant. So that's Bourgeois Paris. Uh, there's an OPI here, and I've had this for quite some time now. It's over the top. I like this for autumn, winter time. It's really nice. And OPI is quite expensive, so I don't have many of them. There's another one here, which is you calling me a liar? And this one, so this one is a, a top, and this is from, I believe, their ballet range, and it's a very light, soft pink. One of those barely there type colours. That's OPI, and I believe I only have two, so they can go there. Um, there's a top coat here, and this is a Sally Hansen double duty strengthening base and top coat. Pop that there. Another top coat here, and this is Rimmel of London. Finishing touch. I actually like this one because the brush is really wide, so it's quick to use. Here is an SE. I believe I have, I think, two essays. This one here is my favourite, I think, and it's called Luxedo. I really like this one. It's very dark, but it's more on the purple side. It's lovely on. Here's another one. This one's really nice too, and it's called Meet Me at Sunset. I've worn this for lots of videos, and 
there have been lots of comments about it. It's a really nice orangey colour. Deep orange. I do like Essie. I tend to buy brands like these when they're on the sale. Here is a nail tip whitener, which I haven't used in a long, long time because it's separated. This is by Rimmel of London. Not something I would really need. Um, and... Oh, this one. This is a new one which I haven't used yet. And it's by Boho Cosmetics, which is a natural company. I was online ordering some of my um, products I use for skincare, that kind of thing, and I saw that they had a sale on these nail polishes, and as I've said, I've been moving over to more natural products. So, I thought I'd give this a go, and from what it said, it sounds very interesting because it contains a lot of weird and wonderful ingredients you wouldn't expect to be in a nail polish. It listed lots of vegetables, <laughs> so that's right up my street. This shade is Lotus. So I should look forward to trying that. And that's going to stand all on its own. Just there. But you'll have some company soon, don't worry. I'll get some more. Uh, here's another Barry M. And this one is grey. does what it says on the tin. Just grey, it's kind of a light grey and I don't think I've ever worn this in a video. I've had it on once or twice but because it's not very bright I wouldn't want it to be depressing. It's probably better actually if you have a tan. So I may try this one in the summer. Another Barry M. And this one is Berry Cosmo. I've not used this one yet. It's like a maroon, purpley colour, like an aubergine, which I think would be really nice. And another barium. This one is called Nightshade, and I've had this one on recently, but it was so it was over the top of a different colour. So it had a different shade than this one, but it's a really dark, deep. Mulberry M. And this one is called Boots and it was limited edition but I, I think I have seen it again recently so not that limited. It's quite a summery springish colour. A lilac. The purpley one. Oh, this one. I haven't worn it much. I think I tried it to see what it looked like, but I haven't had it on properly, and it's called Special Effect Comedian. 
by Hema when I was in the Netherlands. I found this in one of the local shops. And it looks really interesting because it's two tone. It says here chameleon purple in 64. It's purple with gold and it seems to have a nice sheen. It's very thin though, so it needs lots of coats, which is probably why I haven't gone for it yet, but I will do. It's very subtle. And I think there's another from the same company. I bought on the same day. Yep. It's a smaller bottle, quick and go. And this is quick purple, but it's quite um, shiny and glittery, so it's a different kind of purple. Uh, this here you have seen, it's by Madame Glam. This is one of the natural vegan cruelty free polishes I have. This is called Another Glass and I haven't worn this one yet but I will soon. You've seen these just recently in the video I was painting my nails. This is the same company in Frost Yourself, which is a silver glitter. It can be worn on its own, or I thought it would be nice over a plain colour. Maybe over the grey. I could try that. Just to tart that up a little. Another one by Madame Glam is I Love Winter, and I've had that one on recently. That's the, the colour I use to paint my nails in the Bare Nails video. It's really nice. It has so many colours in it. In the daytime it looks quite purpley, and at night time it looks kind of bronzy, goldy. Lovely. This one is not your usual purple, and again, I'm looking forward to using that one. It's quite a hot pink colour. And again, another purple called Midnight. By Madame Glam again. I'm looking forward to trying that one too. This one is so nice, and I've had so many comments about this colour. It's called Vintage Violet by Barry M. And exactly that, it's Vintage Violet. Vintage purple. It's like a dusty purple and it's so lovely. There are four purples by Barry M so far, and all together there are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine purples. <laughs> this is a hot pink kind of by Barry M. It's called Pomegranate. This one is so nice. So in comparison, you can see it's darker than this one. I love this one. 351 is the number.
going to move the berry ends, I think. Just here where there's more space. Because there are more to come. This one is interesting. It's a coral, and it's actually called Coral 296. Bury him again. And it isn't um, the usual coral colour. It's more kind of salmony, which is interesting. I don't wear it a lot, but I've worn it a few times in the spring. And it's really nice. This is cute. It's called um, Bright Pink 279. But it's more of a girly pink rather than a hot pink. Like a baby pink. Barbie pink, you'd say. This is really nice. It's called Raspberry, and that's a deep, dark pink colour. More of a deeper colour than actual. This one is called Shocking Pink, and it's a bit of a mess because I had it in my bag and didn't close it properly, so it went everywhere, but there's still some left. It's 272 Shocking Pink, so if I hold it against the pomegranate, there's a difference there, so the pomegranate is um, deeper, darker. And this pink here. And this is nice. I've had this one a few times now. It's called one more it's just one one five. There's no name at the bottom. I'm sure it does have a name though. It's like um, a deep, 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 deep red. burgundy red. It's lovely. A going out colour. A going out for dinner colour, I'd say. Oh look, there's another OPI I forgot about. And it's very similar to the colour we've just looked at. It's called Kangaroo Bee. I've had this one for so long, and it needs thinning, it's quite thick. It's not quite as dark, but in more natural light, they're very similar. This is a very old one. This would be my emergency red. It's called uh, Max Effect Mini Nail Polish um, by Max Factor, and it's red carpet glam. And there are another two really old ones here, and I think these were from Primark years ago. And these probably need to go in the bin now. This one is called Coral Blimey, and it's a UV reactive nail polish, and this one, I can't see a name, but it's a red colour again. They're quite cute bottles, being square. And this last one here is... A 60 seconds 
Rimmel of London and it's a blue which is probably why I haven't worn it so much because um, blue doesn't really go with my skin trying to find, oh here it is number 825 sky high they have nice brushes these, they're quite wide is there another rimmel? oh yes in the top coat so those are all my nail polishes I do have some more dotted about at home in each room <laughs> and they end up back in the box eventually when I tidy up and I get another one out and leave it on my desk or something or in the kitchen so I'm going to pop these in here nice order and with the barry ends it helps that they're all square so they fit together just nicely and pop these next to, next to those because they're square too and what this means is when all of these nail polishes are back in this box all nice and tidy it means that I have lots more space for some more which is good so, if you know of a really good, fairly lowish price natural nail polish company, then let me know because I shall be looking to buy natural in the future, I shall use these up to phase them out, shall we say more space in there now I hope that you enjoyed that little video I'll see you again very, very soon. Okay? You take care. Good night. Sleep tight.